Greece is teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. The future of bailed out Portugal is uncertain and the single currency itself could be in trouble. The ranks of people riding off the Eurozone and even the European project itself are only swelling in number. So perhaps that's why the message for a united Europe is being pushed on an all new platform, the classroom. Tessar Cilia reports. What do you know about your country? Uh, the capital is Roma. We have some good food there like pizza and spaghetti. <laughs> Which language do you speak? Uh, Spanish, French, English, and a bit of Italian. These youngsters are attending one of the 14 European schools set up primarily to educate children of EU staff. We are the only system which is able to provide education in 23 different languages. You know the motto of Europe is united in diversity. And that's what we live every day in a European school. But outside the classroom, reality says otherwise. For now, differences seem to transcend unity. Critics have long accused the EU of brainwashing children through education and paraphernalia that they claim promote a starry-eyed vision of the EU. A comment from a European Commission representative at an education fair appears to support that point. We will never succeed to convince people about the value of being a member of the European Union if we do not start early enough with the uh, young people before they form prejudices and uh, are misinformed by other sources. There's now a push to export concepts from the European school model into national curriculums, a plan outlined in a 2011 report and later adopted by Parliament. The European Parliament repeats its request to the Member States to promote the inclusion of a specific subject on the background, goals and functioning of the European Union and its institutions, which will help young people feel more involved in the process of European integration. School curricula are a responsibility of individual Member States to tailor to their own needs and their own classrooms and the EU should not get involved in dictating what individual schools uh, teach. You know, we don't want to see European money wasted on pouring out, uh, pouring out EU propaganda into our schools. Uh, we see it as part of our role to explain to citizens, regardless of age, how this thing works, why we have the European Union, why it's a good thing. But the aim is more information not, not kind of um, propaganda or, you know, a sort of brainwashing exercise. That's not what we're about at all. Among the objectives of the European school are to encourage a European and global perspective and to promote the emergence of a European identity from an early age. But the question is, when does it stop being education and start being a propaganda? When the suggestion is being made that a better Europe uh, is uh, automatically more Europe, then I have a problem with that. As do angry MEPs who say that targeting youngsters and their education with a potentially one-sided political view may just be a little too sinister. Tessar Celia, RT, Brussels.